What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the Pink Panther. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The 30 is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. All right, so today we have chest on the agenda. We're not really focusing too much on your triceps or your shoulders, even though, yes, they are secondary movers with majority of movements with body weight training and even in the gym, but we are gonna be hitting chest. It's gonna be pretty, pretty damn intense. Now, don't worry if you have to go on your knees and, and cut down the ego a little bit. That's fine. Don't like stress out about it. Um, and also, 30 for 30, what does it mean? Every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're coming back with a new video for 30 days. We're already quite far into this training series, and uh, yeah, it's about to be ending soon, but when we don't post a video, just rest or recover, and that's just it. So before we jump in, I wanna give you a few tips you could be following for this workout and future workouts, so let's get started. All right, quick tip number one. Sometimes taking a full seven days off is more beneficial than working out extremely hard for an entire week. Number two, isolating your chest using bodyweight training only is hard, but once you understand how important hand placement, control, and leverage is, you will be able to develop your chest even more. Number three, have you tried the Create You Greens yet? They are less expensive than the majority of companies and super high quality ingredients. Link is always in the description. Number four, before you begin this workout, look up a couple rotator cuff warm-ups you can complete on YouTube. Number five, if you are wanting to cut and you feel like you are hungry throughout the day, try eating vegetables like Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and broccoli. It may help suppress your diet just a bit. All right, first superset, we have eight platform push-ups going into 20-second lean hold push-ups. So, with these platform push-ups, I'm gonna be going on my knee because I tweaked my, my shoulder a little bit earlier. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is making sure that we're squeezing our glutes Stay, stabilizing from head to toe. That's the most important thing with any type of chest movements, especially body weight training. So, from this position, we wanna retract and depress our scaps. Now, you're gonna be using some type of a platform. The platform can be a couch if you want. I would much rather it be something a little bit more uh, hard, but I don't really want you to use too much of a, of a like a, just a regular chair that's maybe slanted. We don't want that. Um, try and find something that you can land on that's just outside of shoulder width apart, okay? So, when you come up, this is really what I wanna show you, the landing position, because we've already done so many techniques and stuff for other movements and pushing movements for all the entire 30 for 30 training series. So, our hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. When you come up, if you're on your knees, I want you to get a little bit closer and here, and the main goal here is to stabilize and stop yourself very, very tight at the top, okay? So let me show you without my knees. If you're here, you're gonna be pretty close, okay? You're gonna come up and boom, and stabilize here, okay? Now, the main thing is, again, I can only do so much with my shoulder right now, but you want to pop forward and try and land above a little bit higher up on the couch, wherever it is, and stabilizing halfway through, okay? Got it? Now, we're gonna go into the lean push-up holds. Now, with these lean push-ups, hands are gonna be outside of shoulder width apart. We're gonna externally rotate at our shoulder joint just slightly, so this little pocket right here from the thumb to the finger are, are looking and appearing completely straight. All right, from this position, what we're gonna do is go forward slightly, all right? Now, you're gonna notice that you wanna already cave in, have your chin fall through, and all. No, we wanna push away even our scaps, right? Now from this position, I want you to come down about 50% right here, and you're gonna stabilize and squeeze your elbows in a little bit so you can really, really feel your chest. <sighs> and that is your superset. All right, so we have a fly, a chest fly with the hinge here. Then we're gonna move straight into a chest squeeze, and then we're gonna finish off with some regular push-ups, okay? So with this positioning, we want to start in front, and you can feel your chest really, really popping. You can even see it on me right here. It's just, it's really popping my chest, okay? Now, from this position, I want you to open up, but allow your hand to kind of slide away so that you can open up a little bit more in this position, all right? So it's almost as if my, like right at the end of my it's all good tattoo, it's pressing in here, okay? So it's actually not even on my hand as so, all right? So it's gonna be a little bit further like this, okay? And this is gonna allow you to really, really stabilize with that chest, okay? So you're gonna open up as much as you can, right? I have a door here, so I can't really do too much. So for me, it's gonna be a little bit more limited, but that's why the positioning, and as you're rotating, is so important and squeezing all the way through 
tightening up as much as possible, and then coming back, okay? Now, if you can put your hand and your palm on it and you have a little bit more doorway, that's fine as well. But the main thing here is turning and keeping your chin suspended, neutral spine and everything, as you're going all the way through, okay? Then, from there, we're gonna go straight into a chest squeeze, so both of our elbows we're gonna come high up, all right? Now, instead of being here, I want you to rotate your hands so they're pointing forward, like praying hands going forward, okay? Tucking in your chin is gonna be really, really important. Big, big chest and squeezing as much as you can, okay? You're gonna feel a little bit in your anterior delt and your chest. If you feel it too much in your anterior delt, I want you to go ahead and go in this position right here. It, it just depends on your body structure, how it's going to really either aggravate or not aggravate those anterior delts. Just make sure that your elbows are very high up, okay? Then last, you're gonna jump into push-ups. Now with these push-ups, regular positioning, I've shown you so many times in past videos, and that is your superset. All right, so we have pulsating push-ups into a push-up hold. Now, with this positioning, I just wanna make sure that you are not flaring out your elbows as so. We wanna tuck them in, not too much. We don't want them to be all the way in like this, but just about, uh, I would say 30 degrees, okay? So. 30 degrees here, 45 degrees, whatever you wanna call it. Now, when you come down, I wanna make sure that your chest is big and you're squeezing your, your scaps back into each other and you're opening everything up. So you're gonna be here, open it up. You see how I can open up my chest a little bit more? Okay, now from this positioning as well, when you're all the way down here, you're gonna be about halfway down, tucking your chin, and this is gonna help the movement. Now, when you do the pulsators, I'm gonna go on my knees. You can go on your knees, squeezing your glutes and everything. You just wanna come up and down as so, okay? And you're gonna be 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way to 50. Pretty brutal. And then you're gonna move into that, just, just the push-up hold, okay? So with this push-up hold, after you're done, you're gonna come up slightly here and squeeze. And what I want you to do with your hands is squeeze into the ground, almost like you're trying to push everything, push everything together, okay? So once you're done, boom, up here, push everything into the ground, and squeezing your chest as much as possible, that's your superset. All right, we have as many reps as possible push-ups. Now, I want you to do something a little bit different. So you're probably gonna start out without your knees on the ground. If you're a beginner, just do the knees, and that's completely fine. But when you're doing the push-up, after you burn out, I want you to, from the regular push-up, go to a knee, push-up. Now, if you are allowing your elbows to flare out like this after a certain amount, I want you to go to your knees and make sure everything is stabilized correctly, okay? So if you're going, boom, you're killing it all the way, and all of a sudden you start going like this, whatever it is, I want you to tuck those in and go to your knees from the regular position, and that's your set. Okay, the last set is going to be a table press. Now, I've done this once before. I'm gonna show you again a couple times during this series. So we're a wide stance, okay? Now, from this wide stance, you're pretty much upright. The table is gonna be about hip length or a little bit lower. The lower is probably gonna be the better, but not too low, we don't want too low. Okay, so all you're gonna do is kind of lean forward, boom, grab, okay? Whatever that natural positioning is for you, perfect, that's what we want. Okay, my hand, also my thumb, is gonna be on this side. Of, of the actual table, okay? So from this positioning, already you could feel my chest. If you were here and feeling my chest, <laughs> which you're not, <laughs> you would actually feel how much, I, how much stress is on there and not as much on my anterior delt, which is good, okay? Now from this positioning, we wanna come down, but bend our knees as we're coming down. Notice how on the balls of my feet, tucking in my chin here and everything. And then as I come up, I want to push away or push my hand almost like it's trying to become centered with my body. So it's here and coming up on my toes all the way, boom, and feeling my chest. If you're not feeling your chest, you're just not doing it right, okay? So it's gonna be here, bending my knees, tucking in my chin, everything is, is nice and intact. My hand is actually on the outside of my chest. Then when I'm coming up, I'm coming on more of the balls of my feet and I'm squeezing as much as possible and raising and squeezing at the top and boom. That's a brutal exercise. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, Pink Panther, my titties, and my good old looking face with the stash. We, uh, yeah, we are burnt out, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, Jeremy, are you gonna try it for yourself? Of course. Are you actually going to? I wanna see you post it on your Instagram. At Jeremy Visuals. I, I don't, don't be playing, don't play these games. 30 for 30 series, every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll come back with a new video. 
And if it's not posted, rest of recovery day. Now we are getting towards the end of the series, but you can still tune in tomorrow because the workout is gonna be brutal there as well. Also, make sure you're eating right. If you're not eating right, then you're not gonna feel right. And when you're not feeling right, you're not gonna do right. When you, when you don't do right, you're not gonna dig right. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, if you eat right, you feel right. If you feel right, you look right. If you look right, you do right, you dig. That's from my vlogs, uh, I don't know, like five years ago. I miss it. I'm coming back to vlog. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Follow my Instagram right here. Pick up the Create You Nutrition greens and pre-workout and everything that's coming out as well. Link is always in the description and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.